Hey, what is up guys? Phoenix here and welcome back to part 7 of my Spring Trap Pixel Art tutorial. So, um, I actually thought it was going to be finished last time and I ended up not doing that. So we're going to get started real quick and make sure everything gets done this time around because this will be the final part. Even if it takes like 2 hours to record, which it won't. So, what we're going to do first off is we're going to do the last details of the face before we can start doing the ears. So the last detail on the right side is going to be over here where we have this formation that starts up into the ear. We're going to go to the lower block right here underneath the one that's sticking out and put six blocks going to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's in a weird spot, so let me just zoom out so you guys can see it. All right, and then after that six, we're going to put one black wool to the left. And then you can delete the placements. So from that black wool, we're going to go down one, right one, down one, right one, and that's it. Really simple, but it's just in a weird spot, floating by itself. And now on the left side, we have another one to do, so I'm going to fly over to the left side real quick and adjust myself. Alright. So on the left side, you see how we have the ear formation right here? We're going to look at right there as our marker. So let's fly up to it. And we're going to go down from it and follow it down, so let's look down from it to we're right here. Then we're going to count three spaces to the left, so this is one, two, three. So this block right here, so let me show you where it's at. <clears throat> this block right there, we're going to go two below it. One, two, then put our black wool. So as you can see on the right camera screen, that's where it should be at. So if you guys want a little bit of help with following along, just use the right camera screen when needed. But anyways, from here, we're going to go down to the left one. Down to the left three vertical. So you should have this. Then we're going to go to the bottom block in the three vertical and go to the left of it and put one left, then one down, then one left, then one down, and finally one left again. So it should look like this now. And now for the finishing touch, we're going to go to this bottom piece and just go one down into the left one. And that's it for his face. So you can fill in the entire face right now, but I wouldn't. I'm going to try a new color. I'm going to try lime. Let me see what it's called. Lime stained clay for this tutorial. So you guys will get to see me filling it in at the end. But anyways, now I'll start the left ear and then we'll start the right ear. So for the left ear, what we're going to do is we're going to switch back to our black wool. And we need to build the wiring parts. So we're going to drop down to the start of the left ear right here. And we're gonna count up five of these steps. So one, two, three, four, five. So on the fifth step, what we're gonna do is go to the left block of it. So this block right here, and put four going up. One, two, three, four. From that four, we're gonna go up into the right one, then up into the right eight flat. So let's do that real quick. One then 8 flat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the 8th one was already there from when we were doing the frame. Now all we need to do is go to the right of the one we have right here and just put all black going to the right until we touch the wall again. And now this little F shape right here is going to be dark gray. So it should look like this. And all we're going to do is switch back to our black wool, cut out this top left corner, and put a black wool there. So that's it for the bottom half of the right ear. Now let's do the, there's like a middle and a top. So let's do the middle next, which is pretty easy. Now that I look at it, I thought it was gonna be harder to do. So what we're gonna do is go up to this part of the ear right there, where we have those two by two turning. And is that the right place to start at? Hmm. I don't know if I like it right there. Let me see, let me count everything out again, guys. One, two, three. Actually, what I'm gonna do is work from what we already have. So, we already have this over here. What we're gonna do is go up to this eight strip right here. So let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so this eight strip on the right right here, 
we're gonna go down to the second and third block from the top so these two and we're gonna go to the right of them and put one placement block next to each of them so one to the right here one to the right there and we can get rid of the rest of the placement blocks not the two to the right we just placed so you should have this now from these two we're gonna go to the right and put one black wool onto the right of each of them and this is what's gonna start our thing so from this two vertical we have we're gonna go down to the right one single then down into the right two flat down into the right five flat then two flat again one two three four five then down to the right two flat one two and this is the lowest part of the ear that we just created so now we need to rise back up so we're gonna go up into the right three flat and now finally we're just gonna go up into the right one single block And that's it for this segment of the ear. Now we're just gonna go over to the left and to where we have the two vertical right there. And we're gonna, we're gonna extend it back up. Sorry about that. My throat is a little dry. So anyways, from the two vertical we have, we're gonna go up and to the right two singles. Like that. Then from those two singles, we're gonna go up and to the right five vertical. So count it out. One, two, three, four, five. Now from that five vertical, we're gonna go up and to the right two flat. One, two. And now we need to start descending. This is the highest point right here, so we're gonna go down into the right from here. One single. Down into the right two vertical. So it should look like this. And let me just check if, okay, fire spreads is off, so my pixel arts are safe from thunder. Now from this two vertical, we're going to go down into the right two vertical again. Then we're going to go down into the right two flat. And from that two flat, all we need to do to finish this is we're going to go up into the right one. And then extend it over into the wall. So just bring it over an extra one to the right. And that's that. So you should have something that resembles this shape. And all we're going to do is switch to our light gray wool. <clears throat> and we're going to go to the second block and the two single we have on the left right here. So this one right here. And to the right of it, we're going to put three flat. One, two, three. And that's going to start our first part of this ear. So from that three flat, we're going to do, we're going to work with each one of the blocks. So with this first block, we're going to go below it and put one. And we're done with the first block. Second block, we're going to go below it and put two going down. One, two. And above it, we're going to put three going up. One, two, three. And before we move to the third block, we're going to go below it again. So where we have these two, we're going to skip a space with a black wool. And then put another gray wool there for later. But we're going to leave the black wool there since it's background color. So just leave it like this. And now let's move on to the third block. So for the third block, we're just going to put one on top. And now we're going to go below it. And we're going to put two black wool going flat to the right. One, two, then a gray wool. And like I said, these black wools can stay just because they're background colors. So it should look like this. So now what we're going to do to finish this segment up is we're going to go down to this light gray right here. And we're going to put two to the right of it one two then we're gonna go to the middle block this one right there go below it and put three going to the right one two three and now I'll just fill in this entire section with black wool so I'm gonna fill that in for you guys and the reason I'm doing the filling in with you is because um, there are a little like little corners and stuff like that inside of the pixel art that might get you guys lost or confused so I just decided to fill it in real quick with you guys since it's not too much and yeah it seems like I can do it pretty quickly so that's it for this segment and now we're up to the final segment at the top of it so we're gonna hover up to the top where we have that little two flat sticking out 
and we're going to follow it. We're going to go down to the left from it, one, so we have that one right there, then down to the left three vertical and follow this three vertical down. And from the bottom block and that three vertical is what we're going to work with. So it's right there. So switch over to your black pool and what we're going to do is we're going to put one to the right. And now we're going to work from this one to the right we just started. So we're going to go down to the right, two flat, one, two. Then down into the right, one single block. Actually, let me see. Down to the right, three single blocks. One, two, three. And all we need to do is get like this weird ear torn texture going on with them. So that's why we're just doing jagged shapes. So from that three, we're gonna go down into the right, two vertical. Then we're gonna go down to the right, one single, and then two vertical again. So it should look like this. And then from there, we're gonna start cl climbing back up. <laughs> so going to the top block and the two vertical we just placed, we're gonna put one to the right. And then on top of this, instead of, we're not working with this right block, this is gonna be by itself, we're gonna work with this block. We're gonna put four going up. One, two, three. Four. From there, we're going to go up and to the left, four, one, two, three, four. Then to finish it, we're going to go up and to the right, one. Whoops. And now this entire inner section right there gets colored in with black wool, so let's color that in real quick. And I don't think I need a potion of swiftness for this one because it's just a quick little section. Alright, so that's it for this ear. There is like a bit of shading. Oh wait, I forgot. We have to do the wire. <laughs> there was a bit of shading in, in the inner ear, but I'm going to leave that out since it doesn't look too important. And it doesn't really serve a purpose unless I added a more detail, which I didn't. So, what we're going to do is go over to this leftern part of the ear. Where we have this three flat yeah where we have this three flat we're gonna follow it so go next to it then go down into the left hmm which point do I want to start at I think I'm gonna start from over here where we have this four flat so choose this point where we have the four flat going on right here and that's where we're gonna start so from that four flat we're gonna go to the first block so this one right there, whoops. And above it, we're gonna put one black wool. And to the right and left of it, we're gonna put one again. And that's gonna start the wire. So, to the left of that black wool, I mean to the left of the three that we just placed for the wire, we're gonna put three more going to the left. One, two, three. And then we're gonna go to the right side of it. So we have this six plank right here. We're gonna go over to the right side. We're gonna go up and to the right two flat. And now it should look something like this. And we need to connect the wire back into the ear while still dangling it out. So from that two flat, we're gonna go down into the right one. Then from that one, we're gonna go below it and put three flat going to the right. So one, two, three. And then fill in this gap right here with black. So now it looks like this. Now we're going to go back up to this one single block by itself. And what we're going to do with the red wool is put one red wool to the right of it. Then one black wool. Then on top of the red wool, we're going to put one black wool. And we're going to work from this. Because we need to have like a secondary layer of wiring. And it's going to loop back to here. So on top of the red wool, the black wool we just placed, we're going to go on top of it, put one up, one to the left, like that. Then we're going to go up and to the left, three flat. And from that three flat, we're going to go to the last block, and just below it, we're going to put three going to the left again. So one, two, three. Then from that newly placed three, we're gonna go on top of that and put two going to the left. 
So now we have this weird shape and not all of it's going to be filled in with red. Some of it's gaps in the pixel alert. So what we're going to do is go to the two we have right here. We're going to go down into the left one. Then down into the left two vertical. As you can see, we already had a piece right there. So what we need to do is put the one on top and created the two vertical that we were looking for. And now it's connected back. So we're going to switch to our red wool and we're going to fill in some stuff. So up into the left from this red wool gets one. Then the two right here. Then up here we're going to put one red wool and a black wool on top of it. Then coming over here, we're going to put one red wool right here. And then we'll put down to left one red wool. And to this final one, right here, we're going to put one black wool to the right of it, just to close it off. And as you can see, this right here is blank. This right there is blank. We're just going to leave it like that. And now let's build the final part of the wire, which coming to this two vertical that we have right here at the end, all we need to do is go down to the left one single block, then down to the left four flat, up into the left one single, up into the left two flat, and this is the outer edge of it. Let me move the cameraman actually so you guys can see where I'm at right now. Perfect. So right here is the outer edge of it, so to the left block, what we're going to do is put two below it. And now we need to bring it back in. Since this is the farthest point to the left, we're going to go down into the right one. Then down into the right four flat. And from the four flat, we need to bring it back up, so we're going to go up into the right three flat. Then up into the right one. As you can see, it touched back, so we're pretty much done. All we need to do is fill in a little bit of gaps. So for the gaps, what we need is right here is going to be a gap. Then to the left of it is going to be one black wool. Then another black wool. Then we're going to use red right there. And underneath it is going to be black again. Now this section, we're going to use three reds. Then we're going to switch back to black. And we're going to fill in everything except for this spot right here. And this little center piece is going to be red. So now we're going to start the right ear. Now that we finished everything, but... I don't really want to start it in the rain, so I think I'm going to wait for the rain to stop. So I'll see you guys once the rain... Whoops. Oh, I'm already on the way. I'll see you guys once the rain stops. Alright, we're back. And we have about five more segments to complete before we're done with this pixel alert. So, we're at the right ear right now. And we're going to start at the lowest part and work our way up. So, from the lowest point... What we're going to do is go to where we have this one single block by itself. And it should be up and to the left from six flat wool. So that's your marker. Anyways, let's start. So from this, we're going to go up and to the left three vertical. And then from that three vertical, we're going to go up and to the left two single blocks. Oh my god, it started raining again. What are the odds? Anyways, I'm not going to stop now. So we're going to go up and left two single. And from that two single, we're going to go down to the left two flat, then down to the left seven flat. So let's do that real slow. Down to left one, two. Then down to left seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it doesn't have to be perfect. All you need to do is make sure it's connected. So now it's time to start the wiring which is the light gray stuff we put in and the wiring is going to start right here we have this three strip right here we're going to put one light gray wool to the right of each of them one two three and from that light gray we're going to go extend it up 
We're going to add five more to the top of it. One, two, three, four, five. Then what we're going to do is come to the left of this block right here and put two light gray going up. So we have this. Then on the opposite side, so opposite side of this, we're going to come to the right of it and we're going to add six blocks to the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it should come up one more above this one. And finally, what we're going to do is we're going to go up and to the right from this block, one, and then put four below it, and we're done. One, two, three, four. So now everything else right here is going to be filled in with black, so let's fill it in real quick. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so fill it in. You should have this for this side of the wire. And now let's move on. So moving on to the upper, next upper wire, it's going to be right here where I'm swinging my hands. So what we're going to do for that is go up to right here where we have this four flat. And we're going to go up and to the right from this right block right there. So we're going to go first up and to the right, three vertical. One, two, three. Then from the top block in the three vertical, we're going to go to the right of it and put three going up again. One, two, three. Then from that top block, what we're going to do is we're going to put four going to the right of it, four flat. One, two, three, whoops. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's a lot of lightning. So with the four flat we just placed, we're going to do a couple of things. So we're going to work with each block individually. So with the first block, we're going to put three on top of it going up, and then we're done with it. The second block, what we're going to do is put four on top of it, one, two, three, four. Then below it, we're going to put six going down, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're done with that one. Third one, we're going to put four on top of that. One, two, three, four. And then below it, what we're going to do is we're going to add three going straight down. And then we're done with that. And now for fourth block, we're going to put two below it. And then above it, we're going to extend it up until it's two higher than these. So I guess that's six on top. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, six. So now you have you should have something that looks like this. It's a weird shape, has no definition yet. We're gonna go to the top real quick, and we're gonna go up and to the right two. Vertical. One, two. And now we're gonna drop back down to right here. And we're gonna start with this corner right here. Starting from this corner, we're gonna go down into the right one. Then down into the right five vertical. One, two, three, four, five. And from that five vertical, we need to bring it back in. So we're gonna go down into left one. Then down into left four flat. Three, four. Then down into left three flat. One, two, three. And now this is the lowest point right here. So we're gonna bring it back up. So what we're gonna need to do is go up into the left two flat and from this two flat we're gonna bring it back up so we're gonna go up into the right three flat oops three flat then up into the right two vertical it's touching and all we need to do to fix this is to the left of the two vertical right here, we're gonna put another set of two vertical, like that. And this little gap right here gets filled in with black wool. And then, before we fill in this entire area with light gray, all we need to do is, <coughs> sorry about that, all we need to do is go to this single block right here, and 
put one on top, one to the left, and the one at this diagonal. And I'll fill in everything with light gray and we're done with this segment. And we can move on. So I think we have how many more segments? Two more, but the last, I mean three more. But the last one is that little notch in the ear at the top and the other two are right here. So we're gonna fly up to the in between the ear parts and we're gonna start the next segment. So what time are we at now? This is very time consuming. Anyways, so for the next segment, what we're gonna wanna do is go to We're gonna start from this four right here. One, two, three, four. So let me show you where it's at. It's right there. And from that four, what we're gonna do is choose the third block. So this one right here. And we're gonna go down from it. Put two going to the right, so one, two, and it should connect to this block right here. But what we're gonna do is work with that first block in the three flat now and we're gonna put three going right below it one two whoops one two three then we're gonna go down into the left two single blocks then two flat so two single just like that and then we're gonna go down to the left two flat Finally, we're gonna go to the left block right here, and it's already one, so we're gonna put five going below it, because we need six. One, two, three, four, five. From there, we're gonna go down into the left, four vertical. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna put down into the left, one, then two vertical again. And to finish it up, from the two vertical, what we're going to do is go below it. And we're going to put one below it, and then two to the left. So we get this backwards L shape. And what we need to do is work with this block right here. So mark it. And we're going to put one to the right of it. And just look back for a second, make sure everything's correct. Now we're going to go up and to the right, two flat. Up and to the right, two vertical. Up and to the right, one single, then three vertical. Up and to the right, three vertical, then five vertical. should touch back right where we started so to make sure everything is done all we need to do is go back to where we had the what you call it the two singles right here on the right side you see the two singles and we're gonna go to the bottom one and just put two to the left of it like that then we're gonna go to the top one put one to the left now everything else right there, we're gonna fill in with I mean light gray wool. And some of them aren't gonna be light gray wool, but we'll just fill in everything real quick. So it should look like this right now. We're gonna switch back to our black wool and we're gonna make some edits. So where we have these two singles right here. We're gonna go below the first one and knock that out, put that as black. Then we're gonna go below the second one and knock out three blocks below it. So one, two, three. Fill that in with black. Then next to that, we're gonna knock down, oh, it's not raining anymore, thank God. We're gonna knock down five going down. One, two, three, 
four, five, and fill that in with black. And now finally, in this section right here, we're gonna knock out two right here. One, two, fill that in with black. And that tiny corner right there is black wall two. I just missed it. And that's it for this spot. Now for this spot over here, Then we're gonna go down to the left, two vertical, then four vertical. So two, then one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go down to the left, one, and then we need to bring it right back. So what we need to do is go down to the right from here, five flat. See, it's kind of like going too close to the wall soon so we need to start going up into the right at a smaller number so we're gonna do one single up into the right then two vertical then one single and all we need to do now is we're gonna go up into the right <clears throat> one single then down to the right one single and we're done with that shape right there. So now it's time to get the light gray wool out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this corner right here and put two going to the right. Then on top of this right block right here, we're gonna go four up from it. One, two, three, four. Then using these middle three, we're going to go to the right of them and put five going up. One, two, three, four, five. And using these top two, we're going to put five going to the up, but on the right side of it. So one, two, three, four, five. And now finally, we're going to choose these two blocks right there and put one to the right of each of them. And I fill in everything else with black. So we're coming to the end of the pixel art, thank god, but it's taking a lot longer than I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be done like 20 minutes ago. And my voice is getting kind of raspy. Raspier than usual. Anyways. So we're going to go up to this corner piece right here to finish off everything. And what we're going to do is from these three vertical right here, we're going to choose the top one, put two blocks going to the right, one, two, then we're going to go down into the right one, then up into the right one. Now finally, to try to get it to meet up back where we started, we're going to go up into the right two vertical, then up into the left two flat, and I fill in this entire section right here with light gray. And when you hit this spot right here, just put a black wool in there, and then continue filling in everything with light gray. And now there's two spots that we're gonna, I mean, three spots we're gonna put black wool in. So first off, right here is gonna be black wool. Oops. Then right there is gonna be a black wool. And then finally, right there. All right, so technically we're done now, but there's a little, a little bit more we have to do for shading purposes. And I'm just going to guide you guys through that real quick. So, what we're going to do is go back up to the top right here where we have this 5. And on the bottom block, to the right of it, we're going to put 9 going straight down. 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then from that, we're going to go down into the left two vertical twice. So 1, 2, 1, 2. Then we're going to go down into the left three vertical, then one single. 1, 2, 3. Then one single, 1. And from that one single, what we're going to do is to the left of it, we're going to put one block. And then below it, we're going to put one block. Now from that block we put below, we're going to put one block to the left of it, and one block to the right. So it should look like this now. And then going over to this left block that we put on the left side of it, we're going to put one below it, one to the left, and one below that. And now I'll bring back up to this top left corner block right here. We're going to go up into the left four flat. Down into the left one. And now finally, to finish it off, because this is all going to be black in that corner right there. We're going to hover over to here. And you see where we have this block sticking up by itself? We're going to the left of it and extend up. So just to the left of this one block, extend all the way up. And now all of these is going to be filled in with black. So I'm going to fill it in real quick for you guys. All right, and we should be done. So, um, I'm gonna actually just show the finished product and talk for a little bit for you guys. So as you can see now, this is the final product. Um, in the final product, I did do the nose brown. So you guys can see, nose brown. I already went over the eyes with you. The teeth, all that inner part's gonna be black. We already went over the teeth color, so that should be easy. For the inner ear, I did brown colors like that, and like that on each side. And for the entire wool color of the fur, or the skin, I did yellow. But recently people said that I didn't like the color, so as you can see at the bottom, I filled in a little bit of lime green clay. Let me show you what it looks like. Lime stained clay, I apologize. And the lime stained clay does look a little bit better, so if you guys want, you can fill it in with that color, if you like the texture, or if you like the yellow, you can see it above there and compare them, and just fill it in like that. I probably will do a version 2 time lapse of the lime green one, but for now, this is how it looks, so I'm gonna just hold it steady for you guys so you guys can finish your pixel art. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope this tutorial was useful. I know it was long, seven parts, and we made it through. So this is Phoenix, and as always, I'll see you guys later.